Hello Tarnished, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will talk about Madara's Holy Fire build. This build will focus on burning enemies with or without us hitting them. That's right, you heard it correct. We don't need to hit the enemy for this build to make damage. We will use the incantation buff from Holy Incantation to buff our damage and will deal tons of damage. So without any further ado, let's get into the build. For our primary weapon we are going with Nagakiba. The reason we are going with this weapon is... This is one of the longest weapon which also builds up blood loss. The other weapon being sixth. It's your choice but I prefer this katana. For our secondary weapon we are going with hook claws. The reason we are going with this weapon is. This is one of the weapon which has very less weight compared to others but also has the highest blood loss build up in Elden Ring. For our ash of war. We are going with Spinning Slash. Any Ash of War is fine as long as you grant Keen Affinity as we will be focusing our build mostly on Faith and Dex. Also only on Standard and Keen can we apply the Blood Flame Blade which is the core of this build. For our Ash of War and Hook Claws, we are going with Bloodhound Steps. There are tons of boss out there who are really not going to let you hit them and one-shot you in your third or fourth playthrough. So we definitely need Bloodhound Steps which will allow us not to get hit by the boss and but still do damage by simply being around them. For our Seal. Although most of our damage is based on fire and blood loss, there is no seal that particularly boosts our damage in this regard. Even giant seal doesn't boost the fire damage which we are going to make so we will stick with golden order which will increase our holy damage and incantation buff. For our shield, we are going with golden great shield. The reason we even need a shield is because our mimic will start using incantation if you don't unequip the seal. We want our mimic to tank us for the tough boss whereas for normal boss we can kill them like a house fly. We will upgrade our Ash of War to make sure it has no skill, so that we can use our Ash of War from weapon. For our armor, any heavy armor that keeps your equip load to medium is fine. For our Talisman 1, we are going with Old Lord's Talisman. This will extend our spell effect which is must for our build. For our Talisman 2, we are going with Shard of Alexander which will boost our attack power of skills. You can also go for Talisman which will increase our incantation. For our Talisman 3, we are going with Fire Scorpion Charm. This will increase our fire damage which also is a must for our build. For our final Talisman, we are going with Lord of Blood's Exaltation which is the main core of this build. So make sure you get this Talisman. You can work without other Talisman but this is a must. For our Wondrous Physic Mix, we are going with Flame Shrouding Crack tier which will increase our fire damage. For the other tier, you can go for any one of the three. Either the Cerulean Hidden tier which will eliminate all FP consumption or Opaline Bubble tier which will negate a single damage or Crimson Bubble tier which will restore HP when near death situation. For our skill. It is crucial that you follow the same skill in the same order I have arranged it is because some skill has more skill period whereas other has less period. So you follow same pattern I have to maximize the skill use. For our skill 1. We are going with Blessing of the Erd Tree. This will constantly heal us for a small amount of health. For our skill 2, we are going with Golden Vow. This will increase our attack and defense. For our skill 3, we are going with Flame, Grant Me Strength. This will increase our physical and fire attack power. For our skill 5, we are going with Fire's Deadly Sin. This will set us on fire. So whoever near us will also get set in flame. This will constantly reduce our health but with Erdtree Blessing we will heal constantly which will keep this condition at bay. Allowing us to enjoy only the damage dealing part of this skill. Now the core of this build, the Blood Flame Blood. Once we use this on our weapon, we will consider as bleeding due to fire deadly sin which will reduce our health. Blood Flame Blade will deal both bleed and flame damage. This along with Lord of Blood Talisman will increase our damage since we are already on fire. All this damage will be transferred to the enemy near us as fire and bleed damage, with us doing nothing and make us basically invisible. Now let me show you how to use this skill. There are enemies which we can deal with by doing nothing. Enemies that need us to use spinning slash and enemies need us to use bloodhound step. Enjoy the rest of the video. If you see in this clip, 
you will see me inflict damage when I am actually getting hit, as I am very near to them.
You can also use this build to inflict holy damage by using Triple Ring of Light. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe and let me know your thoughts on your build.